Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to return a file from a .NET Core Web API action. Since in C Sharp we can represent binary data using both the byte array or stream instance, in this video I will use both ways to return a file. So as you can see I have a single image in the assets folder that I want to return from my Web API actions. But before I even start with the logic inside the controller, I have to convert this image into the appropriate format. That said, let's open the file service class and before I implement this ifile service interface, I need to create one private method to convert my image. So I need a private method that returns a byte array and I'll name it convert image to byte array. The first thing I want to do here is to get the root directory path. And for that, I will use the directory class and the get current directory method. This will get the current working directory of the app. Then I need a path to my image file. And to get it, I'll call path.combine and provide the directory path, the name of the folder, and the name of the image. Finally, I will return the result of the file.readAllBytes method and I need to provide the path to the image. As you can see, this method accepts the path to the file and converts it to a byte array. Now, with this prepared, I can implement both interface members. The first method will return a stream and the name is get image as stream. All I have to do here is to create a new memory stream instance and provide a byte array as an argument, which I can get from my previous method. Now, the second method will return a byte array and the name is get image as byte array and it will simply return the byte array I created with my private method. And that's it. I already have this service registered and I can use it inside the controller. Ok, let's open the controller. And the first thing I want to do here is to create a new private read-only field for my service and name it file service. I will also generate a constructor to initialize this field. Additionally, I need two more fields here. So let's add a private constant string mime type and I will assign an image slash png value to it. As you can see, the mime type structure consists of a type, a slash separator and a subtype. For this video, I'm going to return a PNG image, thus I use image slash PNG as a MIME type to define my file. It's good to mention that application slash octet stream is a default MIME type in case we need to return an unknown file. Now, for another field, I also need a private constant string named file name and let's add the name of the file here. So, the MIME type field represents the nature of the file I want to return and the file name represents a suggestion file name to download. Now, let's create the first action to return a file using byte array. I need an HTTP GET action and let's add a byte to the URI. Of course, I need a public action that returns I action result and I will name it get image as byte array. Inside the action, I will get the image by calling the get image as byte array method from my service. And finally, I will return the file and provide the image, a mime type, and a file name as arguments. The file method lives under the controller base abstract class and returns a file content result, which is responsible for providing the file to download. Next, let's create one more HTTP GET action. 
which also returns iAction result. And let's name it get image as stream. The body is almost the same here. I need an image, and I will get it by calling the get image as stream method from the service. And again, I will return the file and provide all the required arguments here. Now that our code is ready, let's check the behavior of both actions, and for that, I will use Swagger. Once I run the web API application, you can see our two routes in Swagger. So let's test the byte route and check the result. And you can see the download link here. And also, you can see the response headers part, where we clearly see the name of the file and the content type. So if I click the download link, I get my file downloaded. Now let's execute the stream request and as you can see the result is the same. Of course let's test the link and there we go, I get my file. Awesome, everything works like charm. And you also saw how easy it is with a few simple methods to create logic in our APIs to return a file to the client. So I can finish the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next one. Until then, all the best.